Uh, I, I was gonna drag it out on video, but Reese got it done way faster than we could get here. My voice is still wrecked from spring sling, but this thing is my Buick Roadmaster, and it is a uh, station wagon. Three rows, the third row faces backwards, but the coolest part about it <clears throat> is this thing came with an LT1 small block, which is basically the motor that was in cop cars and Corvettes at this time period. So it was like a, one of the best motors you could get from Chevrolet or GM, which Buick is a GM product. So this thing's actually fast, like pretty fast. But uh, I honestly, I did a burnout contest with it with Kill Double Diesel. I popped one back tire and this back tire is completely gone slick. So I parked it and it literally sat since then. So bringing it out we're gonna freshen this old girl up it's it's pretty embarrassing how clean this thing was when i bought it and what i've let it go to now so it's time to give this old girl a face lip put some little lipstick on the pig here and bring this sucker back out and hoon it around it's for drifting it's for drag racing it's for lunch break rips to you know the barbecue place whatever i just want to beat the street up with this thing and have fun so we'll see what kind of conditions it's in after i've let it sit for like three years now and uh, abused it Probably get a battery for it, so we can get using a jump box. Probably turn the jump box off so it won't arc it out as well. Or we'll just strap the jump box in it. I've done them before. Yeah, we'll just leave it in there for good. <laughs> All right, so we got the Roadmaster pulled out. We got my guys here. They're gonna detail this thing. They detail a bunch of cars for us, so I can't say this old turd deserves a good detailing, but I will see what it looks like when it's done. And then uh, get it fired up. It fires up and runs. We'll see how, how it runs. Maybe put some tires on the back of it. See what goes down. I don't know. It's been sitting for a long time, so it's, it, it deserves to have problems. detailing the the uh, Roadmaster there so hey, steamroller since I broke the tire off of it we uh, Reese fixed the wheel and uh, we'll let the tires go flat again so we're airing the tires up fire this jewel up and give her a little a little love go ahead and get a close-up on this uh, jump start here <laughs> come this side it doesn't yeah go I only got to connect three points. <laughs> huh? We got the old uh, Roadmaster cleaned up. Looks pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I've I've let her go to waste a little bit. Trim's looking a little rough. A couple spots here and there. Rust, a little rust action going on. But all in all, she's pretty solid. Interior, freaking mint on this sucker. So that that's what brings it around. The interior is gonna keep me keep me alive on the project. But yeah, we fired it up, <clears throat> and it uh, is out of oil which I still haven't finished, uh, so I haven't filled it up yet. And uh, it's missing real bad. And this thing's got this crazy ignition system on it that I really don't feel like fixing. So <clears throat> probably gonna opt for a motor swap instead. So I'm gonna make a little more power. All right, for the last 24 hours, we've been to Okakoke Island, Hatteras, caught the ferry, went and caught 22 large fish in some rough choppy water. On the way home, everybody's dragging 
but one of my buddies called and said because they saw one of our little episodes that there was a panel truck over in um, over here in Manio, which is um, over here right by the airport, and this is Roanoke Island. But anyway, there's an old panel truck that's got um, it has like some old buoys and stuff on the front of it. So we're searching for it. The boys would rather go home and get packed because they have to go out on the road. But I figured we would kill a couple of birds with one stone. I want to check out this panel truck and just see if it's for sale and what the deal is on it. I wish I was in right there. Oh, I know. There's, there's oh, the panel truck right there. Look at that. There's an old panel truck. I wonder if you'd get rid of that. Yeah. Oh, you're chasing down. All right. I guess you. <laughs> All right. Give us a thumbs up if he's not mean. He's about to get him. That old dude's about to beat him with a walker. Shit. How you doing, man? I don't know what you want here, but you can have it. You do it. <laughs> get him, man. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Are you so No, I'm serious. It's How real, listen, it's, so one of my friends rode by here and turned around was on the wrong road. Uh -huh. And they watch our YouTube video stuff and they go, and they and they call me Big Daddy or, or D. Yeah. And they said, hey D, we know where a panel truck is, is in Manny. I said, you gotta be kidding me, where is it at? So I told them that, you know, I'm gonna put them in my in my second episode of my panel truck hunting. So This is not even a panel truck hunting video. We're we went to go fishing, and on the way home, we're all tired. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Like, oh, no, we got to stop in and check this panel truck. So, yeah, we're... Yeah. Um, and what is it? Is it a 1953? It's a, 50, it's a 55. 55, okay. I, I've got the front end in the, in the shed in the back. Perfect. I, you know, I, you know it's, it's, I replaced yeah. the door. This thing has followed me from New, what, from New Jersey, half a dozen houses in New Jersey. I towed it here. It fall off, almost fell off the trailer coming here. It, it was just part of me. I couldn't leave it. Anymore. No, I got yeah. you. Hey, well, I have one because 53, from 53 50, to 55, 54, 55, 55 yes. 56, they came out with the different doors. Yeah, that's right. That, I actually had a 52 grill in there because the 52 yeah. grills will hold the headlights. Will it? Yeah. 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 Okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Because no, I have good. a 53 that I just got, so we call it the old turkey buzzer. And that, it's got the same, you know, it's yeah. the same body side and all that. I have 50s, I got 51s. Yeah, I've, I have I've seen I used to have some of the old like 49 and 50s. Yeah, yeah. I've seen those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I want to check it out if that's all right. You could take it home. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Crusty back here in the back. <laughs> God, hey, but let me tell you, this thing has got great doors on it, and it has a great bench seat, stock bench seat in it. The frame might still be good. Yeah, I the frame's good in it. I'm, I know. I see the front part of it. I'm gonna get this. I want parts. I like this. Yeah, it has a little rust down on the rockers. It's, it's pretty bad on the side. Top down bottom. What's this plate? Probably a jersey plate. Mm, what does no. it say? No, it's NC, truck NC. 1955. Cool. Well, some of these little gadgets are hard to come by, like this. The chrome is not that great on it, but this little door handle right here, stuff like that. And um, you see across the back of it, this turkey buzzer doesn't have this. Is it that has... stamped in the door? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. is it? Yeah. Yeah, stamped in the door. Or like maybe Turkey Buzzard it. does have that. Ah, oh, that comes right. with it. Yeah, we're gonna get this gold head. buoy as well. That buoy, <laughs> she's not gonna let that go. That's Mama there. Yeah, you know, it was called the Orange Crate, and I went to a couple shows and stuff. You know, and it was fun. I got a little yeah. tag and shit because I got the paint for free. It was orange. Well, the same company had the free orange paint. 
tree, yellow paint. So the next thing I painted it yellow and it was called Go Bananas. And they were all on the side. So it's had its time, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you can still see. Yeah, you might see something. little bananas on there, or you might. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just where it says go, and then bananas right down below it. You really want to take a picture of this thing? Yes. <laughs> So how about the front wheel? Uh, uh, it's in the, in the, uh, the garage. Uh, I have to, have to get stuff moved out. I, I, I just want, to, can I peep in the garage? Can you what? Can I peep in the garage? I won't be able to see if there's too much shit in front of it. <laughs> I just want I, to I know, but I, I want to see the stuff in front of it, too. Do you really? Yeah. What are you guys, crazy? He's a junkie. Yes. All right, go all. back there. All right, uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he's calling us nuts. Look at the door he's got on this thing. Check that out. Buoy's hanging off of the building. Yeah. It's awesome. See that? Right. Uh, look, that's what over here, here, guys. You might get to see some. You might, you might meet some. Yeah. Oh, open those two gates. Yeah, pull that if you can. On the right-hand side, against, against the shed, was all the car parts. Oh, and of course, what you got is been growing. Oh, I yeah, don't worry about it. I'm only gonna slam the crap shut anyway. Somewhere on the right hand, if you move those doors, can it. you Here see any parts? Yeah, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> He's on it. Dang. This looks just like his shed. Oh, the come on. Old That's cabinets it. and doors. I, I, I and check this out. This, this is an old golf. This is an old wired spring. Uh, Box spring is what it is. Look at all the old Coca-Cola bottles and stuff in it. I feel like I'm on American Pickers right now. Here's a pair of doors that used to be on the truck when he said he changed the color from orange to yellow. There's a pair of fenders over there. There's a hood. There's running boards. So they're they're kind of in rough shape. But um, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna come back and get this stuff, and I'm gonna put it in my haunted trail in the haunted woods, use it for decoration, and I can go back and pick parts off of it. It'll be cool. The head has like a bullet grill back here, like the 1951 Ford. That's what it looks like, is a 51 Ford uh, bullet grill. He actually said a 52, this would hold the head up. That's what's right there. You see it, Teeny? Right here, look. See back there? So I saw the grill in there. And it looks like like a 51 Ford 52. Oh, the bullet grip. We are in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's in there, and it goes. And, and you know what I'm saying? It looks like I have one, a couple of them, just like that. But it looks like it fits. It'll fit a 51, um, you know, like Ford 51 uh, pickup truck or uh, you know, a panel sure, truck sure. Yeah. or 52. And I didn't know if these trucks, if they actually came with a bullet grill in them or not. Yeah, yeah. You mean a, a, a grill where it's a se it's separate it's to the car? It's in the headlights, yes. I, yeah. I've, mine originally, I put a 52 in it, which was like teeth. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I like that. It was cool. I just had to cut the bottom off a little bit, I think. Okay. And But it had the headlights in that. That's and, it. That's what's in here. I see it? that in the wall. Yeah, it's, it's got the bullet. And I call it the bullet grill. You know, and it looks like the teeth. You know what I mean? It's like the, the if three you, If you can get it out, it's yours. Anything you can get out of there. Which one is yours? Well, yeah. serious. I if, used to. if you want to come back at another date, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. And move stuff. There's fenders in there. there like you said, the grill, the hood. I saw it's it. I, I saw the old doors that you took off when you went from oh, orange oh, to yellow. Oh, yeah. There I put there. The, I put the good bed door, better oh, doors on there. Oh yeah, it's when it's orange. Oh, oh look, man, look, 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 look at this. Look. Oh, Swamper suit. Damn, yeah, that was good, man. Look at that. Look at the panel truck next to it over there too. I, this I, is I, awesome. Look, what does it say on the side right here? Is, is that the, the is orange. orange crate? Orange crate. Orange crate. That's yes. Was orange. In the little town, everybody knew. Yeah, knows. that's you know. Yeah, it's look right. at this. It drove, look at it. it see, see times. the grill he's got in it. Is that the one? So that, that grill is a modified yeah. grill. That don't yeah. come in the 1955. No, no, no. I, I don't know why I had to get that, but I did. Because, because of the look of it. That's why, and I'm the same way. Yeah. I got them in my trucks at home. You got to, I have like a little museum. Okay. You got to come see my. In your house? At your yeah, house? yeah, no. It's okay, at, invite it's at me. the Digger's Dungeon at the shop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are Is you there, from there? Yeah, I, I'm the guy that created Grave Digger. He's the guy who created Grave Digger. Of course, I just said, we know him. Look at these pictures. Oh, wait, there's a pin in the hood the same as the bullet. You want to tow that thing away anytime you want? It's yours. I'm coming to get it. It. I'm gonna get all of it. I want to do. I'm gonna do something for you guys, but I'm gonna come get it. I'm, I'm in there, standing here. Who's this guy coming across my yard? 
know. I know. And I thought, hey, I thought he was going to be a grunt. What do you want to see if I had a dog? Yeah. But all all of my kids drive grave digger trucks. So I I created it 42 years ago. I retired on my 35th anniversary. Um, due to an accident, I got out a little early, but I'm old too, you know, so it's time to time yes, to watch them go. Yeah, and these guys, he's been driving for 13, 13 years. years. Yeah, but right. what, what I liked about, best about you was Fords. And that's, you know, that's yeah, ba- basically yeah. all my life, you know, I don't have them now, but I had number Fords. Right. Ford station wagons, you know, and I had the Ford panel truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a Ford guy. That's, that's Ford. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, but the dirty secret is. I am not a Ford guy. I'm a Chevy guy. I had Fords with Chevy motors in them. And he's going to discover that the Gravedigger now is a 1950 Chevy, and he may not give me the panel truck. So nobody tell him until I get this until I get this deal done. This, this is what I want to do, and, and I know this is this is cheesy, but no, no, but, but, no, no, get out listen of, this. Get out of no, here. no, 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 no. Get I want to do this. I want to get. get I'm gonna give. I want to pay you a hundred dollars for the panel truck. No. And I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars for the surfboard because no. I want y'all to go to dinner. I want you guys. I want you to take your wife Look to a nice dinner. Look at this. Seriously. Oh, yeah. We won't. We won't. We won't. We won't. We won't yeah. accept it only because it's too you bad. made our day. Yeah, just. We just are so happy you came from We're so happy that y'all let us look through your stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. we, were, we were expecting to get turned down. If you come and get the, to, to get the stuff, anything that falls on you, you can take with you. <laughs> but anyway, that's that is cool. Goodbye. Okay, guys. Goodbye. Nice seeing you guys. Nice meeting you. Nice, nice meeting you. Yeah. Nice talking to you. We're getting a little ridiculous. We're busting out racist toys. So we got, I say that, they're mine. I just use races as my excuse. We got these little miniature uh, monster trucks. And, uh, we went to race the sandbox and we have constructed pretty much the monster truck track of a lifetime uh so we're gonna throw it on the whole race freestyle and all yeah it's gonna be uh pretty intense i'm bringing a mega truck out there because all my other ones are burnt up right now got to prep the track before we race on it it's a little bit overgrown i do have a ripper on the back of my d6 here and uh 156 scale d6 so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try and rip some of these plants up and get her ready. We're just getting back from our fishing trip. We're exhausted, but at the same time, we also can't help ourselves. We broke into Race the Sandbox and we built like the most ridiculous RC monster truck course for our mini trucks. So yeah, Teeny's uh, doing the final track preps right here and we're about to throw down essentially the biggest monster truck event ever in history right here in Race the Sandbox. First race is me and Ryan. He has a monster truck, I have a mega truck. His is fast and wide, mine's slow and narrow. So consistency is going to win, maybe not at all, I don't know. You gotta call it chop. No more can say go. You just gotta say go. Okay. Go. Oh, I won though. Oh. I was feeling a little too confident. I did just put it like that. This one's a little bit ridiculous. It's like all aluminum chassis, 3D printed paddle tires, custom body, a little out of control. I'm embarrassed to say how much this one's worth. <laughs> 